Welcome back. This is what happens immediately after uh, the last mission, the prologue mission. Nothing has happened between that. Uh, just generic transfer in stuff. You don't need to see me read that. What should I do? Well, for now, not letting the Arcadia have the Dark Elf, that would be priority number one. Zero, you're a fucking douchebag and I hate your guts. But I like your style. I will calculate our best course of action, giving priority to the search for the Dark Elf. I will report to Miss Ciel as soon as the results are in. I need to better work on my female voices. I realize this. Miss Ciel, please cheer up. Everything's turned out all right before, hasn't it? That's right. We believe in you, Miss Ciel. And in Mr. Zero, too. Nobody, it's zero three. Zero two was the last game. Do your fucking math. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, uh, part of the reason why I'm doing this is uh, I kind of picked up this other LP project with a couple of people, and it kind of requires us to do a lot of NPC dialogue, and for shits and giggles, we decided to do, like, really terrible voices over it. And, yeah, this is pretty much just practice, because I need to work on that shit. The simulation will take a while longer to finish. I think we're going to need your help again, Zero. But you should get a little rest first. For now, I'll save our data. Yes, let's save our data. Overwrite this shit. Data saved. I'll take care of managing the data, just like always. If you need anything, let me know. One more thing, you should go see Servo. I hear he's finished his secret disk analyzer. If you find any secret disks that you can't analyze, <sighs> ask Servo to have a look for you. Dear God, so many characters, so much dialogue. So this is the resistance base. It's the exact same resistance base from Zero Two. See, take a look. It's all exactly the same. The people are even standing in the exact same spots. The only real difference is the command room. It doesn't have that huge balcony up there that's like way up above. And the operators now have their own chairs, stuff like that. It's a more humble command room, really. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Zero. Did you get your new weapon from Servo? If not, you should go get it soon. Let me know how it works when you do. I can't really test its potential in the lab. Sup, do it. Dick, dick, dick. Oh boy, it's Servo. Hey, Zero. You're alright. I heard the news. Despite the new energy, the world is still not at peace. I heard, never thought peace would be easy, but still. Anyway, I just finished a new weapon for you. I also fixed your ass boomerang. Fucking really? Again with the shield boomerang. Can't we get a decent alternate weapon for fucking one servo? I fucking hate the shield boomerang with every fiber of my being. But every fucking game you give it to me. Here, take it. I don't want it. You got the recoil rod. You got the shield boomerang. Oh, one more thing about secret disks. Secret disks contain things that you can't decode, right? Well, I can analyze them for you, so stop by any time. You can also talk to me if you ever want to look at the contents of a disk you've already analyzed. Mr. Zero, please come to the commander's room immediately. <laughs> Zero, to ask you for you. This recoil rod looks easy to use. Thanks! Zero, you're such a cock magnet. The world is too much for Zero to bear alone. Take good care of her, Zero. He's either thinking really well about CL or he's depressed that he's not going to have a chance with Zero. Poor guy. Let's talk to you again. What will it be? 
What's this? Don't you have to go to CCL? She shouldn't make a young lady. You shouldn't make a young lady wait. What will it be? Secret disc. Okay, so remember when we cleared the first mission, we had a bunch of discs that we couldn't look into. Well, you have to take those to Servo. Well, the ones that you can't open at the post mission screen. So it'd be stuff like this: File A, the beast like Mutos, Reploids defend the human race. So these are little background pieces of information. You know, uh, character profiles, stuff like that. Omega, this Reploid has a, has a signature of has of the signature of Dark Elf. Shouldn't that V be between of and dark? Hmm, whatever. Oh, anyway, this is a closer look at the guy. He's big, wearing this white armor with, like, pink and red trim. He's got this big fucking... I don't know what the fuck that thing is. That's just weird-looking-ass fucking hair right there. And, uh, yeah, this oversized polearm-looking sword with, like, three points on it. And just a lot of armor and shit. And his arms aren't even attached to his body, which is why they were flying all over the room. Essentially, Omega looks like the bastard child of Rayman with, like, a Roman Centurion. It just... I don't know, that's the way I always looked at it. Grand Cannon. Yeah, enemy profiles. Not going to bother reading all of these, and... In some cases, you'll see profiles of characters in the Resistance and stuff like that. That's not all that they have, of course. You get Cyber Elves at some of them, and you get different um, items sometimes, but uh, don't have any yet. There is a grand total of 180 of these things. 180. So, obviously, I've got a lot of collecting to do. <laughs> there was something like 50-something Cyber Elves in Zero Two, if I'm not mistaken. So this is like two and a half times that. No, wait, three and a half times that. Yeah. So that's a lot of shit to collect. I'm going to be doing a lot of that. A lot of that. And no, I don't have any Cyber Elves that are satellites. So I'll probably hold off on the explanation of what that is and how that works. Until uh, such time as I actually have the stuff to uh, handle that. And I don't have enough energy crystals for anything. How lovely. Alright. So, yeah, that was the um, new Cyber Elf menu. It allows you to dick around and stuff. Oh boy. More discs. Oh, hey, Zero. I've been waiting for you for... I've been waiting here the whole time for Seal. She came in and left again right away. This little guy is a bit worn out, so I'd like it fixed. I guess Seal must be busy. Ah. Uh, so that's Alouette, and her little doll is broken again. It's actually a robotic doll. It moves around and shit, but you don't really see that because her sprite's pretty static, and she always has it in her arms. Boot completed. Enter command. Something up. Transmission. Trade battle chips with Mega Man Battle Network. Yeah, so. Whoops. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the little feature this game has. Um, you can transfer enemies from Battle Network to Zero Three and chips from Zero Three to Battle Network. It's kind of this nice little uh, feature. Of course, uh, linking up and stuff. Probably not something I'm going to do. And there's a couple neat little features. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show them off. I'm sort of trying to figure out if I'm going to do that and how I'm going to do that. But, uh... Oh, we'll see how that works out. All in due time, people. All in due time. Let's look up Omega on Google. Omega is a giant reploid with the same energy signature as the Dark Elf. Some say that Omega was involved in the Elf Wars. The records state that a century ago, Omega was ejected into space. There is no other data available on Omega. So, that huge thing we found, he was sealed up in that, he was shot into space, probably because he was involved in the Elf Wars, which, uh, 
they were the successor to the Maverick Wars, which is the X-Series, the Sigma thing, you know, all that fuckery that went on there. The Elf Wars was sort of the follow-up to that, and that's what, like, completely wrecked the world. The Maverick Wars, that pretty much totaled a lot of the world. The Elf Wars, they just, they were just fucking brutal. They finished the shit off. Hell of a lot of death. Hell of a lot of death. Dr. Wild. Dr. Wild used the Dark Elf a century ago, causing the Elf Wars. He was banished from Neo Arcadia. He is a scientist who excels at bringing dead reptiles back to life. Okay, so he was a former scientist, and his specialty is in bringing reptiles back to life. Gee, can we think of any reptiles that were recently brought back to life? I can't think of. Oh wait, X. Well, shit. That makes perfect sense. Suddenly, his resurrection seems less bizarre. But wait, haven't Reploids been coming back from the dead for quite a while now? Interesting. The Lillian attacks his New Arcadia from New Arcadia had me optimistic, but it seems they're on the move. I just hope they don't come here. For my job, the quieter things are, the better. Again, we probably won't spend a whole lot of time talking to her because she's pretty uninteresting. That's all. She just doesn't really have a whole lot to say. Hey there, Zero. Have you heard? The appearance of Omega, who has the same signature as the Dark Elf, has caused a rift in our world. The rift is called Cyberspace. New feature! <laughs> a mysterious doorway connects it to the real world. Inside Cyberspace, Cyber Elf abilities auto-activate. Okay, so... He was talking about Cyberspace. The way cyberspace works is, in some levels, you'll find this doorway that links to cyberspace. Cyberspace is like an easier version of the level that has different enemies, and part of that link-up feature I showed earlier is tied into that. You can import enemies from Battle Network, and they'll appear in cyberspace. And um, basically, when you enter cyberspace, every single cyber elf you have in your collection automatically activates. So, you become overpowered as fuck if you have a decent elf collection. But the downside is you lose mission points. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using Cyberspace all that much because I am playing for rank. But, I don't know, I might use it a couple times to get past a couple rough sections and uh, just to show it off a little bit. It's very, very useful and if you're not going for like ranks or you're not caring about every little point, it's a wonderful fucking thing. Mr. Zero, before I worked here, I was a security guard in the desert. Of course, that was over a year ago. Yes, yes, we know. We don't really care about you that much. Well, your twin is over here. Ah, Mr. Zero. Lately, I've been so bored. My trigger finger is itching. But I suppose that's nothing to complain about, right? Oh yes, I can't make out what's on this disc. You can have it. There we go, I knew one of them had it. So, that's another way you could get disc. You can get them by talking to people. So, basically the disc are equivalent to the Cyber Elves of the previous two games. You can find them all over the place, and some of them have Cyber Elves, some of them have little character profiles. I'm going to attempt a full collection, but yeah, expect a lot of like random videos of just me walking through levels collecting stuff, because most of them are hidden in levels. What's this? Must be the new whippersnapper. Shit. <laughs> a little bit too much accent on that one. What's this? Must be the new whippersnapper. Ha, I'm kidding. Even my memory isn't quite that bad. By the way, son, where's the young lad with the long blonde hair? Who was in the commander's room until just recently? He's right in front of you, you blind fucking old man. Well, it's nothing really. There was just this thing. Hey, Zero. When you have a moment, won't you listen to my story? Oh, wait. He was talking to about El Pizzo, not Zero. 
you know, there are way too many replicas with blonde hair. Why the fuck does everybody in this series have, like, blonde hair? It's like... Okay, I guess it kind of works with the sort of Nazi analogy that goes on with the Arcadia, but it's a bit much. And again, we have Andrew telling us stories, and we get discs from that. Long time ago, I was a teacher at a school. Back then, there were many humans. It is no falsehood to say we lived in harmony together. Oh, love. God damn it. Fuck you, Internet. You ruined everything. I have so many good memories of those days. The one I remember most vividly is when we went on a picnic. There was a girl who had forgotten to bring her lunch. And when lunchtime came, she sat alone by herself. All her friends were too busy talking and eating to notice. She had a hard time fitting in, didn't speak up much. Hard a hard time. Hard a hard time. She didn't know how to tell her friends. She forgot lunch. When I saw her, I figured that as much happened had happened. So I gave her some donuts I had made that morning. Oh, bored already? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking snoring. You know, before I thought... One moment, please. Ah. Much better. <clears throat> you know, before I taught, I worked at a bread factory. And before that, I was a sailor. Oops, went off track. I was telling you about my giving a girl a donut. She didn't thank me and ran off with her ba head bowed. I thought she was going off to be with her friends. But on the way home... The girl got off the bus and gave me something. It was a short letter and a piece of clover. The letter said, Mr. Andrew, I'm sorry I didn't find you a four-leaf clover. Written in tiny letters. That was her way of saying thank you. Whenever I pass by the harbor where the school was, I recall the sweet voices of children calling me Mr. Andrew. No. Okay, so that's a huge tech stump, and that's going to be important later because Andrew's going to give us a quiz. He's very much like a teacher. And empty rooms. Much like the previous games, these are going to gradually be occupied. I'm not sure if there's a disc in one of these. I think there is. I just can't recall whether or not you actually have to get it populated first. Ah, Mr. Zeal, I was just cleaning this room and I came across a secret disc. It must be around somewhere. If you'll find it, it's yours. Already taken care of, because heroes always have sticky fingers. Second floor. More disc. Oh look, it's fatty. Hiya, Zero! It's been two months since Mr. Alpizo left here. I wonder when I'll be promoted to commander. I don't think there is a more qualified successor. What about me, jackass? What about me? If that were possible, I might be an operator instead. Shut the fuck up, fat ass. Nobody likes you. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is another hallway. With another bunch of empty rooms that have yet to be populated. Again, I think there's a disc in one of these, so that's why I'm checking every individual room. Relax, you're not going to miss anything important. Oh, Mr. Zero, good to see you. I'm taking a break after patrolling the second floor, so don't think I'm just slacking off. Well, we're robots. Um. Wait, do robots master day? I mean, can they jack off? I'm curious about this. Oh boy, another female voice. <sighs> you know what? Fuck that. Nice to meet you, my name is Parakeet. Oh, it's Mr. Zero. Sorry about that, I have poor vision. 
But that aside, Bissiel's research is just incredible. Incomplete as it is, I think that the miracle of undying cyber elves shows the fruits of her labor. Miracle of undying cyber elves? Yes, that's right. That's what those satellite functions are for. We can use cyber elves without cyber elves dying on us. Of course, we don't have any elves of that variety right now. So, yeah, we can't really do that. But all in due time, we will have some satellite elves to equip to our person. Hello, Z Hello, Mr. Zero. I'm sure you've forgotten my name. I'm Altrush. I've been carrying loads around here for years. Sometimes I wish I could do something else, but there just isn't anything that I'm good at. Sorry, I didn't mean to gripe to you, Mr. Zero. You know, it's times like these, I wish I could do a really good Eeyore voice. voice shit. <laughs> Ugh. All this talking. Fucking reading. Oh, it's you, Zero. I can't. I just can't stand work. My job. My job is to watch the harbor all day. All day, every day. Hey, just kidding. If that Hebo heard me say that, he'd sure be mad. Yeah, he's still a jackass. We don't really like him. So I'm gonna go back to Servo, get some of these discs analyzed. Because I don't recall what any of them are. I'm pretty sure like one or two of those are Cyber Elves and uh... Oh shit, I probably should show off my new weaponry, shouldn't I? This is the recoil rod. As you can see, it's essentially a pair of Tonfa, except lasers. And these kind of work like the, uh, what was the weapon in the last game? Uh, it's kind of like the recoil rod or the chain rod, because they allow you to uh, move blocks around. But instead of being able to swing this time, we have this. It's a sort of rocket jump where you can aim downwards with a charge shot and it'll send you bouncing all over the place. The recoil rod is strong as when charged. It incorporates features from triple and chain rods. It will require some effort to master it. And the shield boomerang is still the same piece of shit it always was. There you go. Don't expect to see me use it. Don't ever expect to see me use that. Fuck the shield boomerang. No X skills. Uh, yeah. I think that's everything, really. And, yes, I was already in there. Let's go see a man about these discs. By the way, if you skip this video, you wouldn't actually be missing anything. I'm just showing off the base and all this shit. Oh boy, another Cyber Elf. And 40 Energy Crystals. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. I do need a lot of Energy Crystals. Looks like the rest are going to be Profiles. CL, Rustinol, Alouette, Atrush, Parakeet. Yep. Okay, let's go see CL and uh, move this story forward. Sorry, sorry this took so long, Zero. Are you ready? We've simulated our options based on the information at hand. I've had the results prepared in the form of visions. The first two are... Missions to prevent New Arcadia getting the Dark Elf. The other two are... Gorilla attacks on New Arcadia to protect everyone from its threat. Zero, is fighting our only option? Pacifistic as always, Ciel. I mean, we've developed this new energy. I thought the world would finally be at peace. Do we really have to keep fighting? Ciel, you're already doing the best you can. And you're not alone. Leave the rest to us. You can be surprisingly nice sometimes, Zero. S Zero? Mr. Zero, we're ready. You can leave at any time. Select a mission. 
displaying the available missions. Okay, so there are two uh, sets of missions here. We can try finding the Dark Elf, or we can sabotage New York Hades' attempts to find the Dark Elf. And the whole game is essentially a race against time to see who can get their hands on the elf first. Whoever wins gets their hands on a shitload of energy. And I believe that's all for this video. Which level am I going to take out first? I'm not sure whether I'm going to do Death Tans Mantisk or Blazing Flizzer next. Death Tans is... Um, our non-elemental boss and Blazing Flizzard is our fire elemental boss and this time fire is sort of a good place to go into the uh, elemental weakness chain so not sure which one I'm going to do I guess we'll see you in the next video so that's the resistance base hope you enjoyed some really really boring gameplay I promise that's probably going to be the last time you're going to see me run through the resistance base and talk to everybody. Well, you know, until the next game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, see you next time when I tackle an actual level. See you then, everybody.